The Speedy Bee Mario Mini 25 is back on the channel. And whilst I make no secret of the fact that I'm not a massive fan of using the DJI FPV remote control for proper FPV, you guys have asked for a guide of how to set up the ELRS Speedy Bee Mario Mini 25 for the DJI FPV controller. And at the end of the day, this channel is not about me. This channel is yours, guys. So for that reason, we are going to get on with doing this. Now, this is actually a really simple and straightforward thing to do. The first thing you're going to need to do is make sure that you go into boot mode. Now, it's a little bit of a, f a fiddly, finickety board, is this? It's a bit of a pain in the arse. So the easiest way to do it is you boot button is here. Am I pointing that out? I hope so. So if you just push very gently something into it and then plug it in and then if we open up Betaflight on a PC, really simple and straightforward. All you need to do is this when you receive it is set to Crossfire. Change it to the SBUS. Uh, there is something else you do need to do, so it's not just change it to SBUS, but change it to SBUS, and you're going to have to reflash it. So make sure that you go in and save a backup. If you haven't got a backup, there's one on my Discord if you need it. However, a few things are going to change, so we need to also add a few extras since we're flashing 4.6. Okay, and then load it. It'll download it and then click flash firmware. 4.6 might handle this a bit better. So once you have flashed it, everything, just unplug it and plug it back in and then go into connect. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into your presets and you're going to want to load backup. So when you say backup here earlier, you're now going to want to load backup and you've got your Speedy B Mario there. My advice as well is unless you know what you're doing, uh, don't flash 4.6, just flash 4.5, just flash a normal version of Betaflight. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is come into the ports tab and you're going to want to deselect serial on RX5 and select serial on UR number two. Hit save and reboot. Now, if we then turn on, remember how this works as well. Your controller connects to your goggles. Let me grab a battery. This one should do. Your controller connects to your goggles. Your controller does not connect to your drone. So you can't just turn on your controller. You have to turn on your goggles as well. And if we go into receiver now, or in a second, you'll see, because we've got SBUS selected, we've got SBUS flashed, SBUS selected, we can now use the DJI remote control FPV on the Speedy Bee Mario Mini 25. And it's as easy as that. The only th other thing you need to do is just go in and add an arm in switch. So I'm gonna use this one. So select auto and then just throw the switch that you want. And I prefer to have it up. Um, If we go with pre-arm for that one. So, and then we'll change our total mode to this one. Again, I prefer to have it up. Um, and then I'm just going to delete these two for now because I don't need them at this moment in time. So let's just confirm that. Shut your mouth. Let's just confirm that everything is right then. So we have got pre-arm. And then we've got arm, which moves it to this side. But that's right because that's how we've got it set. Okay. So we can now go out and test it, fly it, do whatever you want to do. But that is as easy as it comes. I think what people are doing, why people are struggling, is they're either not reflashing Betafly with just SBUS as the protocol, or they're not turning the goggles on as well. You'll see my goggles are turned on. If I turn my goggles off, what will then happen is we go back into receiver tab. Got nothing. I've got no control. I've got. I've got nothing because you can see 
the controller connects to the goggles, not the drone. And then the goggles connect to the drone. And that's why I don't advocate using this. But if this is what you've got, it's absolutely fine. Go for it. There's nothing wrong with it at all. I just don't necessarily advocate it. But uh, if that's what you've got, that's what you've got. It's brilliant. Right. Have you got any questions? If you have, I'll meet you in the comment section down below. This has been a really quick, chill Sunday night video. I have got some bigger releases coming this week. It's going to be another crazy week. So do stick with us. But until next time, thanks for watching and peace out. YouTube and I have had a chat and we believe that this is the video that you'll like the most. So watch it and let me know if they're right.